Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is actually the second time I'm recording this because the first time I did it a 24 minute long video which had absolutely no sound. Thus uh, I went outside, had a couple of cigarettes, air punched the hell out of my imaginary opponent, came back here and hopefully will be able to condense uh, the point of today's video into a shorter and more solid version. Either way the main point is that we're going to be talking about a new player starting this game and free to play players and the problems they are facing plus uh, towards the end of the video I will be offering my potential solutions how to make this game more attractive to casual players, new players and all around possibly more streamlined and uh, player based satisfying version of this game so either way uh, so for those of you who do not know I have recently started a new account it's a 13 day old account I have spent about three to four hours a day on average on this account plus I skipped about two days in its entirety where I did absolutely nothing on it so in 13 days I have gotten to level 39 have two five star champions 40k hero base rating about 14 six star champions a whole bunch of uh, sorry 14 four star champions, a whole bunch of uh, three stars, so on and so forth. I have managed to get to act five, about in act five, two, three at the moment, and I'm kind of getting ready to do my uncollected push, and only kind of reasonable problem that I am facing at the moment would be the units or lack thereof, or my inability to get uh, enough energy to actually play this game for prolonged periods of time. So that is going to be definitely one of the bigger issues we're going to be talking about. But first and foremost, we're going to be discussing the initial problem I had with this game once downloading it. And it might not necessarily be a kind of like gameplay progression problem, but it's a technical one. As soon as I downloaded it, uh, pretty much none of the images were loading for multiple days. It took about five to six days for this game to actually look how it normally looks on my phone. So I'm not exactly sure whether the problem is my phone or it's something due on Kabam's end, but I'm playing this game and this account on iPhone X, so it's hardly the oldest phone, it's only two generations old iPhone, uh, because I upgraded not too long ago and this phone was basically free unused, so that's where I based this account in. And uh, yeah, the game looked atrocious after I downloaded it, unless I knew what I wanted to do, it was extremely hard to navigate and it just looked buggy and scruffy and probably if I was a new player downloading this game for the first time I would have deleted it within an hour because it was extremely hard to navigate, extremely hard to understand, half of the information was missing because quite often the picture is important part of the message that they are trying to send you and it was quite an unbearable experience. Uh, for those of you who think I'm exaggerating you can uh, watch my day one, two and three streams where I had consistently these uh, problems with images. Now it might have been just my phone issue, but in that case I cannot explain why I experienced the same problem on my main account on the phone that had been running this game for like, I don't know, half a year plus without problems. So that clearly was some sort of technical problem with uh, the image loading. I tried to resolve it on my phone, it didn't seem that there is a problem on my phone, but the game looked absolutely atrocious and I would help likely uninstalled it, especially combined with the second biggest problem point is that starting from the point where you install this game, you just get absolutely truckload of all of these offers. Now I'm trying and refraining from swearing in this video, but it was unbearable. It was like, what the actual fudge? There is one offer, then buy sigil, then the Deadpool offer, this offer, that offer, daily offer, Grandmaster, no, but whatever they offer, this thing, and Every time I completed the quest that was offered, and the game was basically appearing to be completely desperate. Hey, you want this premium crystal for two dollars? Like, no, get away from me. Hey, do you want this stony mastery card for five dollars? Like, no, leave me alone. Every single quest, every single thing that I did, every time I opened a crystal, every time I finished a quest, there was a no, pop-up offer. So again, if I would come in this game with a fresh mind, it was made incredibly clear from basically minute two in this game that this game wants nothing more than my money and uh yeah i at this point would probably also delete the game especially the whole missing image thing and if somebody's consistently throwing offers with you that can display the price tag perfectly but is missing the actual <laughs> picture and uh, the crystal pictures for instance are missing as well so you couldn't really know what you're getting but uh you just knew that they want your money and that would definitely be another point where I can 
would uh, as a reasonably thinking person kind of like nope i do not want to play this because when i started this game things were a lot more different obviously it took a lot longer to progress which is fair due to kabama they have increased the progression speed by miles because when i started there were no five stars there were no six stars there were no alliances there were no monthly quests so on so forth the game was very bare bone and obviously there were also no pop-up offers so now in the time the game has progressed they have gone absolutely shameless and it just felt awful it literally felt uh that, that worse than in some of the adult sites that i have been in uh for research purposes and uh yeah i would not want to carry on playing i would not want to get invested in a game that presents like that to me all that being said uh let's move on to actual gameplay problems and progression problems. Now, the first and foremost, the biggest problem I think is uh, the simple fact that acts one, two, four are absolutely worthless because when you start playing the game, I think I had a four star champion by end of day one, maybe day two, I'm not exactly sure, but basically I got a four star champion extremely quickly uh, because I got access to a bunch of uh, premium hero crystals, four star popped out from one of them. And then in day three, I got to open two four star crystals. And so by th day three, I basically had three four star champions and act one only focuses its rewards on two stars. Effectively, here are exploration rewards. One three star crystal, 30, two star signature stones, uh, two star awakening gems, some ice and gold. It's trash. Now in uh, the chapter rewards, two star hero crystals. Didn't care about them in day one already. Also, these two star rank of crystals are... Uh, completely worthless i would say and uh, do that rank of gem supply because you don't use them you don't i didn't want to invest my very limited amount of ice on gold in any of the two star champions and i didn't in fact only three star champion that i uh, ranked up was quake because i am quite proficient with quake and she's helping me to push a content that i otherwise maybe would struggle with and the point being is all of these rewards are garbage they mean nothing to you starting from day one let alone day five now i do realize that i was able to progress the game quicker than most of the new starters would be because obviously I already know the fighting mechanics and I can kind of push further and quicker but just because I encountered these problems on day one two and three doesn't mean that a new starting player wouldn't encounter these problems in day four five six or seven whenever he would get there his own pace point being said is two and three star champions are absolutely and utterly worthless even for a new starter account because a cabal has increased the ability to acquire three and four star champions why monthly side event quests why incursions why whatever else and yeah day one i had no use of this so all of these rewards outside of units and gold are utterly garbage and that same theme continues in act two where as we can see for exploration i can get like one tier one alpha a three star crystal and big wolf never coming back here act three one four star uh, crystal which should kind of be nice still at for my day 13 uh, all the count and two tier four basics but at the same time there are far easier ways to acquire than spending hundreds and hundreds of units worth in energy refills so realistically i will never ever explore this neither i will explore act four now act four you could kind of debate that uh, those tier four tier two alpha catalyst would be worthwhile but by the time i actually get enough energy to be able to kind of go back here and start exploration, I can bet I will have no use for these resources and four star awakening gem is nothing too special already because uh, I'm already able to get five stars. Why would I focus on a four star awakening gem if five stars is what I'm trying to acquire in this game? 3000 five star shots for exploration. I can get that in a monthly master mode quest, which I'm very close to exploring already in like day three or whatever. So the point being is, all of Act 1 to 4 are absolutely worthless rewards and are an energy pit. Only one that I would consider exploring because would be Act 1 because it requires the least amount of energy and it has like 100 units for chapter exploration and at some point in the future when I have time, I don't know half a year later if I'm still playing this count, I might come back and explore that for those 100 units a pop. Other than that, no thank you, it's absolute waste of time. I will put forward some solutions how uh, maybe we can change this situation and make Acts 2 to 4 uh, very worthwhile to explore, the, at the same time not realistically breaking the natural intended progression of the game. And I'm not talking about, oh, just add 50 4-star crystals. No, we're going to talk about it a bit better further on. 
uh, but uh, we already kind of touched upon the energy cost and hundreds and hundreds of uh, energy refills it would take for me to explore Act 4, thus I will never end up doing it. The biggest problem currently, and the second time I would have deleted this game, would be right about now or a couple of levels behind, about day 10, I would say, day 9, because initially the game is fun. Initially, game made me excited because I could progress, I was clearing quests, I was leveling up, that also served as an energy refill, and I could play the game for hours. I went to bed after like day one, two, three, four, excited for the next day, excited where I'm going to be able to get, excited what quests I'm going to be able to clear, how far I can push. And again, I realized that I play this game better than an regular new starting person would be but again it doesn't mean that these things happen to me in day two three or four that the same thing wouldn't happen to a person in day 10 15 or 20. Uh, it just means i'm able to accelerate quicker right all of that being said initial point was amazing up until about level 32 level 34 it was great because i was accumulating units because i was clearing quests and i had a solid stash of about 600 units or so it wasn't amazing stash but it was still like solid for such small account and at the same time i was continuously progressing i saw my units go up i saw my level go up i'd get new champions but about at level 32 or level 33 effectively uh, when you need so much more experience points to progress to next level in order to level up uh, that you end up using three four five six energy refills to get to the next level so your units start dropping because you ran out of energy refills that gave you that they gave you initially and you also start running out of units that is where vast majority of my units have gone it's purely energy refills so i can keep on playing the game right at this point uh, i am close to collect them at like 5.2 Three. Only reason why I cannot go and push for this collector fight is the simple fact that I don't have enough units for energy refills and uh, that is extremely frustrating because at that point maybe I could get a uh, two collector but uh, realistically I'd be out of energy and if I needed any items whatsoever uh, I would be stuck. Right, so the problem with units and energy is the biggest drag and that would be the reason why I would have had deleted the game because up until this point I had stuff to do in game, I could play, I could progress, I could choose my side event quest, which rewards I get, I was offered all of these different choices to basically just go and play, there's energy, there are some units, you get some items that you can find on the path, completing, but from this point forward, you're stuck, because you have choices to make, you can uh, either buy units and buy energy refills, or you can only play this game for about half an hour in the morning, afternoon and evening to empty your energy. So about hour and a half. Or uh, you can go grind arena. Now, I'm gonna touch arena again on an unrelated subject, but there's literally nothing else you can do. Even the so-called amazing incursions. Yes, I went and did incursions on this account as well, but keep in mind that you don't really have many leveled up champions and you cannot keep on going in to farm them. Additionally to that, all of these top zone bonuses here cap at 10. So yes, okay, I was able to get to the 10 and at this point I'm not able to well, there's no reason to push forward because there's no rewards to be earned up until they reset but at the same time even if you're not able to push to 10 even let's say the 5 or 4 or 3 is your limit it's not like you can try again and again and again because realistically only have like 5, 6, 7, 8 champions that are semi-decent rank uh, as by semi-decent rank I mean anything that's not at the rank 1 level 1 level so you have very limited roster to do this and you can't and obviously alliance quest alliance war for these newer alliances is also very short experience it hardly requires a lot of time so if you actually want to play this game starting from day 10 in my, my case maybe for some people in day 20 you realistically have literally no other option than to go and grind arena and that sucks i hate arena uh I'm sure many people do, but many people accepted it as a fact that you have to grind it and I would be willing to play a ball. That would first of all be a huge major dent in the game if I am forced to play arena just so I can simply get energy and quest because that is a part of the game that I actually enjoy. Now I'm being forced into a game mode that I hate. But okay, that would be a huge alternative, cost and a turn off, but okay. 
But at the same time, since obviously my roster is very limited, it's not like I can get a lot of points and I don't have too many ranked up champions, right? At this point, I spent over an hour and a half in arena. So that was an hour and a half in arena that got me first two milestones in this arena, which is 15 units. And it got me first three milestones in this arena, which is 16 units. So for hour and a half, I earned 31 units, which is one energy refill, which I can use in what, 15 minutes. And that's pathetic. That felt, uh, that really felt kind of disgusting. And uh, at this point, or yeah, I would simply want to leave the game because here I can clearly realize that this is not a game that I can play and enjoy. This is going to be a chore if I want to play it because I get punished for wanting to play because I don't have energy and only way I can acquire energy is buying the refills and only way I can buy the refills is getting units and if I don't want to spend money only way I can get these units would be arena and yeah that would be the end of the story for me playing this kind of game if obviously I wouldn't already be as knowledgeable and as committed to marathons of champions but in itself it is a huge huge problem the simple fact that these game mechanics prohibit you from actually playing the game unless you grind arena and as a new player even grinding arena is quite unbearable because you don't have the roster to actually get these milestones because guess what these milestones are exactly as big as they are on my main account which is like 2.4 or 2.3 million hero base rating where I can get most of these milestones in like one go in like half of the arenas. So that being said, it's quite impossible for me to even earn these at a semi-decent rate as it would be for somebody that has a larger roster. And that certainly seal seems extremely wrong as in like I'm being punished for being new because now I'm unable to play the game. And... Lastly, when I said unable to play the game, I actually meant unable to play the game because guess what? I can go through every single champion, including one stars and two stars in about hour and a half, right? And then I have literally nothing I can do, <laughs> like nothing, nothing. At that point, I just am forced to close the application because didn't have enough units, didn't have enough time to grind all out. So there are certain definite weaknesses for this and uh, yeah that probably would have been end of my story some of you might say oh you also have battle chips yes I earned enough for eight crystals from battle chips in arena and I got zero units or zero refills from those as well you know maybe bad RNG but either way 31 units for hour and a half worth of grind is not normal for a new player and the last two points that I'm going to mention real quickly is that I have joined a new alliance and they don't seem to be chatting too much in alliance chat and uh, the whole communication alliance what who is supposed to do is pretty much non-existent because the interface of actually communicating to your alliance and to your battle group mates or whatever is impossible so just by the sheer fact that this game basically requires you to use third party app which many alliances don't because this is like a newcomer they don't even know what line is probably i would be the only person who could mention it to them if i wanted to but the point is that the in-game communication in between players is pathetic and that doesn't encourage some sort of friendship building or camaraderie or none of like that stuff so that is also a huge glaring weakness because if you feel that you're alone in this it is much more likely to grow old quicker and you're much more easy to give up on something but if you actually have some sort of social connections and friends here that would engage you into playing more but currently the social interaction interface in the game is absolutely pathetic and uh, last bit is masteries so masteries as well it kind of goes to the same point where I'm forced to use my units for energy refills if I want to progress at a semi-decent pace, thus I have no units whatsoever left for my mastery cards unless I want to purchase these, again, unit or cash offers, well, fuck cash offers, right, this is a free-to-play account, and uh, I will be realistically unable to increase my or improve my masteries for extremely long time if I want to actually progress in the game and don't want the game to feel stale because all of my units go for energy refills I cannot offer afford to buy any mastery cards so that is another small thing that definitely will be 
become a much bigger problem because I would again either be absolutely and one hundred percent forced in arena for months because these mastery cards cost multiple thousands of units, or I would have to spend money because as a free to play, realistically, you cannot improve in this aspect at all because aside from a couple of stony cores the mastery core rewards in game are non-existent so that's one obviously huge easy fix uh, i know that nobody maybe not necessarily everybody needs these stony and carbonadium cores but there shouldn't be too much of a problem introducing these type of rewards as an optional reward as in we can pick whether we want i don't know 50 units or a stony mastery core in some events or something like that kind of like make it a nexus crystal type where are three items maybe a couple of refills maybe a couple of potions or some mastery core or something like that make a new item where we can actually acquire these mastery cores as an optional reward because if you already have all the masters unlocked you have no need for them so they would feel like a waste so that would be a very simple easy fix but since we started talking about fixes and i think i'm making decent speed i'm gonna jump down to scene number three so first and foremost the technical issues and the picture loading and the multiple game time game down times obviously that is something that kabam should address i'm not exactly in a position to advise how to do it i'm just here to say that it felt extremely buggy unprofessional and uh, would deter many new players like Realistically, if I would download some game about, I don't know, uh, Pokemon, whatever, and all of my images were missing and the game was lagging and it went down three times in two days, I would simply uninstall it. Like, that's it. Like, I gave it a chance. I'm not emotionally attached to the game. I'm not invested in the game. It seems to be buggy. Screw that. <laughs> right? Uh, especially because we all know that the game is buggy as hell. But the new person starting the game does not know that there is a bugged interaction in Act 6. He's five acts away. But if you see something straight away as you open a game, that there's something completely wrong, then that's just a horrible first impression. Second thing is obviously still in the first impressions, 999 offers as you start playing the game. Seriously, what the fuck about? I mean, I know uh, you guys love money. I know you are after money, but you can at least try and hide the fact initially. I have learned to live with the fact that you are a greedy, blood-sucking company that wants nothing else from me, just my credit card and PayPal balance. That's fine. I have made my choice, I'm willing to live with it. But if you really honestly expect that an average person downloading this game will feel comfortable in a game where every five minutes they get a pop-up asking them to spend money, you guys are idiots and greedy motherfuckers. Stop that shit, and if you have to, start dropping these offers gradually after set period of time, and leave the new players alone. Or at least ease up on it if you must, right? So, Act 1 to 4 being worthless and complete energy pits. Now, well, there is a very simple easy solution actually, because all of these rewards, the problem with them is that they are themed to 2, 3 and 4 star champions primarily. And all of these things lose their value incredibly quickly to a point where, as I said, Act 1 and 2 rewards mean nothing to me even in Day 3 or 5. There is one simply w simple way to avoid that, because what does not lose its value as a player progresses? It's energy refills, it's revives, it's higher ranked health potions, and it would be units. So, take out some of the shit rewards, like 2-star signature stones, who the fuck needs 2-star signature stones, but add in, like, let's say, 5 energy refills. So, the player actually can progress, and even if somebody is already 30 levels down the line, seeing 5 energy refills as a chapter reward would entice me to go back there, because that actually represents some sort of value. Heck, if it would be quick enough to grab, even on my major account, if you offer units if you offer revives if you offer energy refills as somebody who has like rank 3 6 star champions i'd still go grind out that act 2 if i hadn't before why because i still need those items and that would be extremely simple way how to ensure that people actually try and play through your story mode 100 fully because currently it's worthless and the simple way to do it without breaking the progression barrier is to offer items that are worthwhile for every progression level rank 1, sorry, level 10 player needs energy refills, 
level 20, 30, 40, 50 and 60 players also need energy refills and units. So take out all of the specific crap that's intended for 2, 3 and 4 star champions. You can leave some of the 4 star crap I suppose. But add in simply resources that don't, do not lose their value the further players progress. Such as aforementioned energy refills, units, revives and potions. Very simple fix and would make all of the acts so much more enticing. Uh, the bigger energy problems uh, I would suggest there is, well, first and foremost, reduce the costs of energy in Act 1 to 4 period to like 1, right? Because uh, they're simply not worth it still. So just reduce the energy cost and everything there to 1 in Act 5, 1 or 2. Just let the people play the game, goddammit. That is what will keep them playing, that can keep on progressing. The fact that you have to wait realistic six hours to get your energy full to play for 15 minutes and then wait six hours again shit it's severely outdated and you should move along with the times anybody who wants to play should be able to do so so just let people play that's as simple as that where it comes additionally perhaps and this might sound like a wild crazy idea make energy refills 10 units for the first month, 20 units for the second month, and 30 units for everything above, because those people uh, that are already further in endgame, how many more ways how to earn the refills to begin with, and also how to earn these units, right? So how about that? 10 units for the first month energy refill, 20 units, second month energy refill, 30 units for the third month. Would be wonderful. And lastly, Arena. Now, I know I'm hardly the world's leading authority on Arena. You guys, everybody know that I hate it and I don't play it on my main account. Or if I do, like that's like once a year kind of event. But here is the one thing that I generally do not understand. If we have three different brackets in Arena, one for players from day 1 to day 30, one from players from day 31 till day 60, and one from day 60 till everybody else right if we have special brackets and all of these brackets all of these lower brackets are able to acquire the champions and the milestones sorry not milestones the rank rewards so much easier and so much quicker because in beginner bracket you can get like a four star champion for like i don't know 500 600 thousand points because nobody has champions to grind right then answer me this kabam riddle me this how the fuck do you still have the same milestones? If I have 40 champions, if I have like 16 4 star champions, right? Let's see this. So I go to the arena. So this, sorry, I'm gonna open the game. So I'm gonna go to the arena and I'm gonna go in this arena. So I can only use my four and five star champions, right? And I have 16 4 star champions. How am I supposed to grind four millions? Why is there such a milestone to begin with? Why don't you scale them back to about a million max? Eh? At max. Now, I do realize my account is 13 days old. By day 20, I'll probably have 20-something 4 stars and, I don't know, 4, 5, 5 stars. Still, do you realistically think that at end of month 1, I am able to get 4 million points in Arena no matter how hard I grind? You can sincerely fuck off with that unless I'm spending uh, units that I do not have on arena refills there's no way i'm getting that and there's no way i need to get that because i if anybody here is going for a gun he will go for significantly less than four million i bet just saying so that would be a simple suggestion for the arena problem just narrow down the milestones because why would kabam try and force somebody to actually push to 4 million in the first month. It's unrealistic. Stupid. Why, why can't I grind some arena and get the milestones quicker? It still wouldn't improve my situ standing, situation in standings, but at least I could earn some units from arena and keep playing the game, which I currently cannot. I spent an hour and a half in arena to earn 30 units. That felt horrible. If we can put a cost to that and this was an interesting point of thought there as well so i spent hour and a half to earn 30 units if i go to the unit store 30 units would cost 
So 135 cost five bucks. So let's say a dollar or so. Effectively, a dollar would fetch me something close to 30 units, right? So I, in the game's currency, worked all hour and a half for about dollars worth of units. Now that is pathetic. And that's extremely depressing and would, yeah, pretty much indicate me that it's either pay up or shut up or delete the game. And that's exactly what I would have done. Now, hopefully this video hasn't dragged too long and hopefully you guys still are here because I was actually absolutely fascinated to check how the game has been changing for new players since I started this game. All that being said, if you're still here, you definitely do deserve a reward. And here's your reward, a baby Yoda. Now, whilst you calm down and actually process everything that I have said in this video, you can surely go to the comment section and let me know what you think, whether I'm right, whether I'm wrong, what changes would you like to make. If you're Kabam, then uh, perhaps Baby Yoda can lessen your maniacal, diabolical wish to punish your own players. But either way, I think it's about time you guys uh, head over to the comment section, drop your comment, leave that like, hit that subscribe, share this video with your friends, and I'll be done for today. See ya.